Margaret, I ask of you to walk into the light, the light of love that you can see above you, and giving you all the happiness that you truly deserve. I ask of your love to follow into that light where your friends and family and guides and inspirers are helping you to give you the counselling, to give you the motivation to move on into your next level of life. Keep walking forward, Margaret. As the door closes behind you, you are now greeted and with open arms, your family, friends and loved ones. You now rest in peace with the love of God on all the people within this circle. Amen. 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 She's released herself. You're right, Richard. Yeah. She can. Has she gone? Yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Just um, talk about emotion. I was crying. Are you? Mm, I was. Is she gone? Yeah. 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 <sighs> it had been an emotionally exhausting experience for all of us. We had witnessed several incidents of what seemed to be spiritual communication, along with some surprising agreement between the psychics. Most notably, that relating to the murdered boy. And we had ended our night with a successful experiment in table tipping. We had been monitoring each room continuously, and although no other incidents were recorded, our investigation in Salford had been extremely productive, and a night some of us might want to forget. Audsall Hall, fascinating place, and, um, well, haunted, very, after last night. Stuart uh, and Carl both picking up um, noises, light anomalies, and the fascinating thing about Carl's vigil is, is the fact that, that when he asked the orbs to appear, they, they did. I tried to walk in front of the fireplace. Oh, thank you. In one of the rooms, Carl actually saw an orb. Other orbs appeared on command, I believe, three times. After that, when Carl requested for more phenomena, there was a creaking sound. Shit. The sceptical explanation would be that we're simply dealing with coincidence. I described... Derek picked up on a, a, a little boy that was uh, murdered and buried under the cellar floor. There is no record of it at all, but that doesn't mean to say it didn't happen. It's centred here. OK. Centred here. Uh, the only way you'd ever find out, of course, I suppose, is to, to dig the floor up, but I don't think they'll let us do that. Give us a sign. Try and knock on the table. Table tilting, gosh, it did work, because we actually had it moving um, across the floor. And the fact that we picked up on uh, Margaret and her brother Alexander, the twins, and the fact that she was the ghost, we've, we've almost established definitely that she is the White Lady of Aldsall Hall. The movement of the table was very impressive. I'm very impressed with these experiments that the team are doing and the phenomena that they appear to be capturing on film. In future investigations, there are more controls that can be put into place to ensure there's no unconscious or conscious fraud at work. My face just looks... it keeps changing. In one of the rooms in the investigation last night, Yvette actually attempted some scrying. There was a huge mirror and water was poured onto the mirror and she looked into it, stared into it for a long period of time, attempting to communicate with spirit or see some sort of physical manifestation of spirit. It's a very ancient technique and it certainly spooked Yvette greatly. There are a lot of psychological principles at work here, but mainly if you think about the sort of environment in which the scrying is working, it's a very, very dark room, you're staring into a mirror for a very, very long period of time, which is a very unnatural thing to do. Your eyes will go in and out of focus, you'll have no depth perception, and generally your eyes and your mind will start to play tricks on you. And that's certainly what happened last night. 
Appearances can be deceptive, and Audsall Hall had provided further proof that a pleasant exterior can shield us from the hideous pain and suffering that lies inside. Until next time, sleep tight. For a chance to go to the Science Museum's IMAX Cinema for a spooky film in 3D, have a private ghost walk with Most Haunted Lives' Richard Jones and spend the night at Langham Hotel, just log on to livingtv.co.uk forward slash competitions and answer this simple question. In the latest series, the Most Haunted team visited which European country that's associated with tulips? A. Switzerland, B. Portugal or C. Holland? But stay tuned to Living TV because coming next, it's Most Haunted Extra.